hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm Juliana and today I want to do as I did last year a book gift gift guide for you this year I don't have so many books to recommend you as I did last year because my arsenal of uh, books read is not so very long so I don't have a lot to choose from of course I could bring to you some recommendations about books that I haven't read myself but um, I want to read or I have uh, a good feeling about it or because that said book has good reviews or because I somewhat have interest in it of course i could do that but i wanted to bring books that i have read myself and i've enjoyed for myself so that's why this year the list is not so long but i hope you can take um, some recommendations from this video or at least some ideas uh, maybe you will not buy the title specifically that I brought to you in this video but perhaps you will go research about the author or about the genre or some relations with other books from the a book that I have recommended in this video so let's hope for that and well let's get into the video so in my world of non-fiction I only have three, three books to talk to you about and we can begin with what I talk about when I talk about running by Aruki Murakami. So this is my Portuguese edition. I will leave you with an image of the book cover in English or at least one of the editions so you can see the title in English. Of course I will leave the, the titles of the books that I will recommend to you in this video in the box description so you can go there to check it out. So I think this is, you know, for that person that you know that likes biographies, memoirs and is into the lives of authors and likes biographies or memoirs in general, I think this will be um, a good gift of course this is not too long as you can see this has more or less 200 and something pages as you can see I think if you don't want to gift something uh, too long or too heavy you know someone that likes it this type of genre I think this will be a wonderful gift also for that type of person that enjoys sports even if just a viewer or a sporty person themselves uh, specifically if they like running I think this will be a wonderful gift because in this memoir Aruki Murakami that is a Japanese writer talks about his um, relationship with running in specific so he will uh, talk about how he begins to run, uh, how is his relationship with running competitions and what he feels while running, why does he run and so on and so forth and he even will talk about some interviews that he did or he gave to magazines and a marathon that he did. <laughs> Not only one, he talks here about many marathons that he did, triathlons, so he's a very sporty person so if you know someone that is also a sporty person or enjoys specifically running but not only that if it's a sports person in general i think they will love this hook so there we go then in a more self-help kind of way but i don't think this book is so closed in in that genre as you may know already this book have many compliments 
on the insights that it brings and that is Atomic Habits by, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Yeah, if you know someone that is, you know, that has trouble um, being disciplined or starting that thing that he talks about frequently, some uh, sport, writing, reading, having a good diet, you know, you name it, anything in, in your life. And if you know someone that has been having trouble starting that thing or having the motivation to do it or even it starts but then he, he, gives, he gives up. So those type of situations, I think this is a good uh, book to give them because this will talk about some strategies to implement little by little small habits that will bring you to a goal, so a, a bigger goal. And I think this is more practical and more realistic than, you know, go forward to the major goal. And because the title gives it all, a habit, atomic habits. So you have to think about in microscopic, almost, steps. So I think this and also I'm not going to give you the tool here because you have to buy the book and read for yourself uh, to get to that page and see a, a newsletter subscription that you can have is free uh, and it's you will receive emails from James Clear where he, he will give you more tools and more information about some strategies of his and you will be able to add to your box um, or in your mind of course of strategies and um, advices that he gives so you have to buy the book and read to that page at least <laughs> of course i want you to read the whole book and do the sub subscription the subscription and receive those emails so i think this will give you you know um not only the book but a whole new set new set of strategies and so this is very insightful and i think is very doable that's the point right so if you know someone that is uh, organization junkie I think this is also a good book to gift not only to those people that are having trouble to do something I think to those that are you know if you think of them as efficient well I think they will enjoy very much also having um, this breed so there we go and then in a more specific kind of um, genre, should we say, in, in the non-fiction, of course. Um, I have Vance Macabre by Stephen King. So this is about the horror genre. So if you know someone that is a horror fan or usually reads horror, um, I think this will be a uh, a good gift to give. You don't have to worry, this don't, doesn't have, um, of course it's non-fiction, but I don't know, it could have some horrific stuff in here, but that's not the case. This is very towards the history of the horror genre in various formats, so in television, in books, in radio shows, and movies. So this was published in 81, if I'm not mistaken, but Stephen King started to write, a, write this book in 18, in 80, 1980. And so the thing was that he had to talk about 30 years, the history 30 years prior to 1980 about the horror genre. And so that's what he did. Of course, this is about his own opinions and his own su suggestions. 
and his own perspective on the horror genre in those formats throughout the years till 1980. So if you know someone who likes Stephen King and hasn't read any of his nonfiction and only reads his fiction, perhaps, you know, this is a, a, a good um, option. And also, if you know someone who likes the genre in general, well, I think this is fun for all ages or, you know, who can understand it. Uh, of course, you have to have a somewhat package uh, of knowledge about the genre, specifically about shows and books and movies of, you know, that are a bit old because this is uh, a lot of years past <laughs> since 1980. So as for me, for, for instance, I have told this already, but I enjoyed very much the beginning to the middle of this book, but then after that, it was a bit uh, hard for me to accompany his references because I didn't know what he was talking about. Of course, I have heard about it, but I haven't watched it or I haven't seen it. A lot of also people that he references, I don't know, I didn't know who they were. I didn't know who they were. Uh, so, you know, that was a bit hard in a way, but you know, if you, if the, the person enjoys horror, I think this is, um, also an opportunity for them to have a, a, a spread in their knowledge and, you know, get to know some references that were the inspirations for so many stories that are in vogue nowadays. So, you know, don't be afraid that, oh, the person is too young, maybe he won't get it. Well, you know, take the punch, take the plunge, and I think this will be a wonderful opportunity for that person, even if young, to get, it, get in contact with the sources we can say, I think, of the inspiration of stories that perhaps they are a fan of nowadays and get to know history. I think that's also important in any subject. So here, here you have it. Then we go to fiction and there I'm going to recommend Budenberg by Thomas Mann. Um, I finished this reading in January of this year and I thought it was wonderful. Uh, in the beginning I have to say that I was uh, finding this book a bit dragged, a bit dull, you know, boring. I wasn't getting why so many people talked about this book as being the book of their lives, or at least one of them. I, I wasn't getting it, but I endured, I passed through it, and after that, well, <laughs> that's why it's here. So this talks about the family, and this has a subtitle, The Decline of a Family. So as you can guess it, this is not going to be a happy story. Of course, it has happy moments, don't get me wrong. This won't be, um, I don't know, tragic. Uh, it's tragic, yes, but it's not... So, I don't know how to say it. This will be a um, story of a family throughout generations, but getting to a point where, well, it won't be the rainbow after, you know? But I think you don't have to be afraid of that. If you know someone who enjoys fiction in general and who enjoys he, um, stories of families, drama, f fam family dramas, I think you can name it like that, this will be a wonderful gift. Um, it's a bit large, but if, you, if that person is a reader, you know, I'm supposing it is, 
that won't be a problem. So go for it. Then I have another fiction book and that is The Horseman on the Roof by Gian Giono. So Gian Giono is a French author um, and this is was the source, I mean, of a movie called The Horseman on the Roof with Oliver Martinez and Juliette Binoche. <clears throat> so uh, this is also a drama, we can say not a family drama, but well, an adventure, perhaps it, it's better, uh, of uh, his Italian and we are in the 1800s, if I'm not mistaken, yes, 1800s, uh, so 1830, 30s, okay, uh, and so for some reasons he has to flee from Italy uh, and he goes to France, but there in Provence, I think, yes, there is going there is happening a cholera epidemic and we are talking about the main character the young man that i'm talking about is called angelo he's a um, military man and when he goes to france he's confronted with the disease with cholera and he has a whole adventure trying to come back to italy and there he meets um, a partner in his voyage that, well, a person that is going to become his partner in voyage coming back to Italy. And so there is the whole journey of his, the first part going to France and confronting the disease, everything around him being destroyed and emptied and um, so on and so forth and so and then coming back to Italy and his journey through France with his partner uh, and what that entails so I know I know I'm not giving you too much but um, if you know someone who enjoys a more open ending type of story um, a not so traditional type of romance a more story driven a more journey story driven you know with perhaps a more character um, weight in it uh, i think you can gift this book then i'm going to advise you to pick up angelo by john giono as well so they are the in the same realm of story because Angelo is the main character of the horseman on the roof uh, and Angelo is almost um, alternative story or not not alternative in everything is different that's not my meaning but uh, it has some some changes in the plot of the story on how Angelo meets some characters uh, so it's almost like a draft of the author to uh, do the horseman on the roof so if you know someone who enjoys you can gift both of them of course um, if you know someone who enjoys enjoys French liter literature or who enjoys uh, the description that I gave you before or you know that has seen the movie, for instance, The Hortman on the Roof, you can gift both of them on shoe or shoes one of them and then give the freedom to the person to maybe buy the other book or not. So um, you can ponder your options, but here you have it. Then another one I think um, it's a good gift to give is the New York Trilogy by Paul Auster. So this is this is a very peculiar three. So they, they are three stories and they are very peculiar. I wasn't 
I didn't know anything about the book when I went to read it, but what they are, they are type of detective stories. But they all have open endings. So if you know someone who is, who is a very, I don't know, who is discovering or trying to read some out of the box type of stories, I think this is wonderful. Or even if you want that, per that person to get out of their comfort zone, I think this is a great choice. As I said, they are very strange or very unique should we say. So yeah, I'm not going to describe the, each one of the stories because I think that takes the fun out of it and you can go watch my video, my review video of this, of this book so you can have more insight on it. But yeah, it's very peculiar, very out of the box, very... It, it, it's own thing, you know? So... If you if you want to give a bit some uh, something a bit different uh, and not so traditional, I think this will be a wonderful gift. Then uh, I will uh, advise you Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. Uh, so this is a classic, I think. This is very small and very brief. Uh, and this is also about a journey, a journey of uh, a young man who wants to leave his, the, the, the place where he lives in with his parents. Uh, he wants to be enlightened, 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 enlightened. I don't know how to say it. So he wants to find himself, to find the true knowledge, the, the light, should we say, like, say it like that. And so he wants to be a, a wise man. And he goes on a voyage to find that. And he goes through many circumstances and many, well, deviations and deviations in his journey to his objective and for many years he will live in a condition that is not what he was looking for. But then he will, um, will come back to that objective. And so every step of the way he will have challenges. And we will accompany his reflections on it and what it takes out of it. So this is a very reflexive read, reading. Or, so if you want to gift, you, you have to, you know, figure out to which uh, person you want to gift this. Of course, this is known, this book is known, so I don't think it will come as a total surprise to that person will say that it doesn't know the book. I don't think that will happen. But if you know that they haven't read Siddhartha or anything by Herman Hess, should we say, can we say, uh, and you know that that person is, um, you know, has profound thoughts or is more uh, reflexive uh, or is going through something in their lives that perhaps are more difficult or they could have some time to reflect or an opportunity to do so, I think this will be a wonderful book to gift because this brings you, you are thinking with the character, you know, you are thinking about what he says to you, about what are his thoughts, but of course you, for your own, you have your own reflections on what is going on. And of course you can extrapolate for your own life and do comparisons on what or when or where you are in life and or, or for instance what you will do if you were him or 
as I was saying, a comparison to your own life and what you, you should do in your own situation. So go for it. Then um, in the realm of graphic novels and mangas, I will advise you to, uh, well, one graphic novel and one manga that I read this year. Uh, and of course, this will not come to you as a surprise because I talk about them very recently. The first one is the graphic novel and it is Mary's Monster by Lita Judge. So this is a, graphi a, bio a biographical graphic novel about Mary's, Mary Shelley life since her teenage years till her public uh, the publication and years after the publication of Frankenstein. This is wonderful. If you want to um, have a bit more of an idea of uh, this graphic novel, in what it consists, what is this format, the illustrations that are in it, you can go check it out my video, my review video of this book. I will link it down below in the box description so you to have a more insight on it. But yeah, this is wonderful. Of course, you can say, well, this is not targeted to YA. You can say that, but what book is targeted just for one age? You know, a book is a book and you can pick it up wherever age you are. So don't be prejudiced about that and go and check it out. It's very beautiful. And if you know someone who enjoys graphic novels or even if it is a younger age and likes classics, for instance, you can give this book for that person to have more knowledge about the author, in this case, Mary Shelley. Or if you know someone who enjoyed Frankenstein and you can do a very, a very good connection with the author, gifting them this book. So, you know, you can do whatever and this will be always a wonderful gift. Then coming back to horror again, uh, if you know someone who enjoys mangas or never read it even, and you are thinking to give something different for that person to for them to dive in in a format they never read before or even if they enjoy horror um, and you or they enjoy the author for instance i'm talking about uzumaki by junji ito and um, this is <laughs> a very interesting manga because well it's very bizarre the concept, but very interesting. Of course, you can go check it out my video on it. I explained to you there the, the plot, the characters, the concept, so go there. But this is, in my thinking, a wonderful gift to give because it's so out of the box. I know I'm saying this quite a bit, but I think that's the term I really want to use it, to use so, yeah, if you know someone who already enjoys mangas, this will be great. Of course, if they don't have this particular one, or if you know someone who doesn't read mangas, but you think they will enjoy it and they don't mind about the horror genre, this will be a wonderful, a wonderful gift also. So, you know, you can see to which person is the best, but Trust me, this will be great. And last one, a bit of science fiction. I have here Solaris by Stanislaw Lem. Uh, I read this last year or the year before that. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm a bit of a suspect because I really enjoy science fiction. So this is a, a story about an astronaut that is in space going to a planet that is being studied by the human race. And there he will find that 
some things strange start to happen and his past kind of hunt him well nothing is what it seems something isn't right you know so if you if the person that you want to give this to likes this kind of vibe and some type of suspense and trying to figure out what is going on and enjoys also a bit of a open ending this will be great so yeah i don't think i have to explain myself too much i think for this one you have an idea of what i'm talking about of course if you want to know more to have a bit of more depth idea of what the book is about about again you can go check it out my review video i will link it so yeah so these are my suggestions i hope for some of you at least or <laughs> even if it's for one person that i inspired you with a book in particular or an idea of a gift in general so i really hope i have have helped helped someone but i i really enjoy seeing those ty these type of videos uh, in this time of year because it's even if it's for entertainment um i think if, you know because people try to bring different type of things of course i could do the same but i have videos in my channel already where i talked about some things that i i well what i'm trying to say is that i will be repeating myself in this type of video so well i'm planning to next year or the years after that uh, to try to diversify a bit uh, this video in particular you know to bring you gift ideas that well it they haven't they don't have to be book related you know it can be a bit more diverse okay i'm hoping for that so for this year i didn't have quite the resources to do that so that's why i only brought books uh, of course as always i'm trying to read more so i can have more baggage and more books to talk about <laughs> of course but well, I hope you have a wonderful season uh, trying to a wonderful season with your families, doing gatherings and with your friends. Well, family events like Christmas is coming up and I love this season. I love this um, festivity uh, and of course, I'm talking here a bit of a more of a materialistic type of thing like gifts of course I'm talking about books of course I don't think that books are so materialistic but even it's a gift you know but I think it's also if you can do that of course I think it's um, a th thoughtful to you know cater a gift to someone if you if you thought really hard about it and the gift is thoughtful and catered to that person i think it's a wonderful way to express how you feel about them so it always depends but you know it can be really thoughtful and i i do believe that so yeah i hope you will have a wonderful season uh, catering gifts to your to your family, to your friends, to your special person. So yeah, I hope it goes well. I hope I have helped someone or inspired you. So thank you so much. I will see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps out the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one.